Hey, it's going to be a cold one tonight. Well, you have the chance to enjoy a night of laughter, giving and paying it forward as the Sophie House rebrands to the Forward Foundation. They're celebrating their 10th anniversary and you're invited. Joining us with more about the event and the mission of the organization, Andrea Starr, the executive director, along with Jimmy Comer, who is the chairman. It's great to see both of you. Thank, well, thank you, you so thank much. You We're us. thrilled to be here. This is congratulations. 10 years is um, quite a stretch, especially when you're doing work that is as challenging as it is. Uh, in the nonprofit sector. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And this is a big step forward then with this rebranding. I think a lot of folks ask the question of why rebrand? Why rename? What's the motivation? So about a year or so ago, the board came together and we were looking and we had a lot of different little programs we were doing. And I, I kind of talked to the board about we need to create an identity. And um, the thing we kind of identified was the need for child care assistance in Richmond. Um, and so we decided to make a program where we will help single moms who are in a distressful situation with the child care uh, assistance, which $1,500 a month is easily something that they could be facing and we just want to be there for them. What we did not realize was, we, I, I felt like nobody in Richmond was doing it, but we're not so sure nobody in the state or nation's even doing it. We have not been able to find something to model this off of, so we're really excited about the program. That's incredible because not only do you take on a pretty big task, a pretty big challenge, but then really striking out on your own in a way. You're, you're, you're learning this as you go, but you've been doing it well for 10 years. This is a great opportunity for folks to come out, support the effort, and learn more. Have you been surprised over the, the 10 years about the need? Has it grown? Are you, are you able to meet the need? Is there so much more? So this is a, a brand new program. What Sophie House was doing in the past was assisting this community of women, but doing it in a different manner. They were providing um, a food pantry and a clothing closet and working to help them with payments and securing housing. By being able to streamline the mission and really focusing on the childcare aspect, this is new for us, but we're still able to help that same community of women, but doing so in a much more impactful way. And, uh, you know, as, as word is getting out, uh, the, the, the need we know is dire. Um, the cost of child care is astronomical. And ultimately, the goal is that we want these women to be able to work. We want them to be able to come through this program and take their family from instability to stability. So this is a hand up. It's not a handout. Right. You, you find yourself asking what seems like a very logical question. You want to be able to support someone to go and, and earn an income, earn a paycheck. They can't go because they have responsibilities. And so how this chicken and the egg situation of how you resolve that. You mentioned, Jimmy, the $1,500 a month. It, it's, it, it almost seems insurmountable at some point of being able to take on going out and maintaining work. Yeah, I mean, when you sit there and look at $1,500 a month, that's equivalent to a mortgage payment. Mm -hmm. So we are looking at helping one professional woman here in town who has a master's degree, has uh, a nice paying job, but between her mortgage and childcare, she has less than $100 left in the bank and she has other expenses she needs to meet. So. These are not necessarily, these are your neighbors yeah. that are having this struggle and that's uh, something we've come to realize and um, you know, the, the city's been really open to this idea. Everybody we talk to, Very their eyes receptive. light up. Yeah. Where are services offered and, and how, how are people finding now that the mission has been streamlined? It's, it's word of mouth right now. Um, and we are working with some collaborative partners. So as those partnerships are building, obviously they're talking about it, they're sharing it. The other part of this program is that in order to receive the financial care for the child assistance, these women have to complete a certain number of hours of educational workshops over the, the 12 month period of the program. And the reason that we do that is again, that we want them to be vested in the success, their future and financial success, and the success of um, you know, coming out of this program in a better place than where they started. So this is about you know, being able to empower these women and then you have them come back and mentor women that are coming into the program. So it's, 
in, in answer to your question, it is word of mouth. It will be on our webpage, which will go live uh, the night of the event, and then through all of our collaborative partners and networking opportunities where we are talking about it. We have about 30 seconds left. This event is open for everyone, so tell us, tell us briefly what it's all about. So this is a big celebration um, to get everyone together and be able to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the organization, where it started and where it has evolved to. It will be at the ACA Shrine Center on February 29th from 6 to 10 p.m. 10 p.m. We have a fun packed evening with Micah Bam Bam White, who is our master of ceremonies. Uh, Majanos is our dinner sponsor. Our signature sponsor is Flooring RVA. Uh, we have casino games and horse racing and silent auctions and all kinds of really fun and very exciting surprises. So we're really looking forward to, to being able to celebrate with everybody. Well, thank you for the work that you're doing. A great evening of fun for the Forward Foundation. Congratulations again. Thank, thank you, you so much. Appreciate thank you it. for having us. Our pleasure. We're going to share some information. The Forward Foundation will celebrate with a night of laughter, giving, and paying it forward on Saturday, February 29th from 6 to 10 p.m. at Aka Shrine Center on Bellevue Avenue. For all the information, we'll have a link on our show website by later today, wtbr.com slash VTM. Before we head to break, we're going to check in with Andreas.